Hey, are you thinking about moving to Cobble Hill, Brooklyn? Well, you're in luck because today we're going to do a little tour of the area. And right now I'm standing in Cobble Hill Park, which is a beautiful, small little park packed right into the middle of the sort of the northwest corner of the neighborhood. Um, now, the area is bordered by Brooklyn Heights to the north. You probably saw our video about that a couple weeks ago. And um, Carroll Gardens to the south. You've got Borum Hill to the east and the BQE to the west. And we're walking around the park here showing off a little bit. It sits between a regular street, which has these grand townhouses and apartment buildings. And then on the side here, you've got this little sort of muse street, which is a veranda place. And some of these old townhouses used to be used. They would have kept their um, carriages and horses there. And so they, now they're being used obviously as regular homes, but that was the original use. And so this has sort of a news feel to it. It's a very small um, street here. And in general, the park is really well used. It's, it's right now it's winter, so it's not showing very well, but uh, it's beautiful here in the spring and the summer when the flowers are blooming and the leaves are out. I was, as I was saying, Co Cobble Hill, it's like Brooklyn Heights. It was originally kind of a suburb of New York City. Think about mid to late 1800s when these homes were being built. A lot of people were um, very wealthy, um, successful business people in the city, and they wanted to have a nice big uh, brownstone out in suburbs um, when this area was being developed. So today, I mean, if you think about it, it still functions similarly to back then, except you have the train versus having to take a ferry across the river. Um, but I wanted to give you a tour of the area and show you what's here show you some of the shops and restaurants and then stick around to the end of the video because we're going to talk about real estate figures here in the city for the last 12 months give you an idea of what things cost and where you might be able to get into the market but let's get into it we're just across from cobble hill park and i wanted to point out two really cool restaurants that are right off the park you can see we're right here right in between the uh, the muse and the park and you've got one that's um that's a really nice fine dining experience you've got it's kind of like a spanish tapas mixed with some japanese i believe um, that's saint juliver and then next door you've got la verara which is more of a tapas bar type thing um, but really great food there and you're right off the park so you can go put your name in line and hang on the park um, or grab a drink they've got um, these little um, outdoor eating things for the winter and for the summer rainy days um so those are two really nice spots you're going to want to check out if you're over here obviously this is the park where we just were but now let's head over check out smith street and court street because those are sort of your main areas that are going to have lots of shops and restaurants hey if this is your first visit to the channel and you're looking to learn everything there is to know about the midtown direct suburbs of new york city including the outer boroughs then subscribe below and tap the notification bell so you can be the first to hear about the current market conditions here in new jersey and new york Hey, I'm Jeff, the team and I, we get calls every day from people just like you. We're thinking about moving to one of New York City's amazing suburbs, and we love it. So whether we're moving in seven days or seven months, give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email so we can help you make an easy stress-free move to the New York City area. So as we were saying at the top, we're here in Cobble Hill today, and I'm just walking down one of the beautiful streets here. Uh, this is Warren Street, and you can see it's also a mix of these gorgeous brownstones and you also have in different areas of the neighborhood you have some small apartment buildings now a lot of these have been converted back to single family homes um, but some of them are broken up into multiple units uh, sometimes they're being sold as co-ops and condos sometimes they're still rental buildings um, but you have a really good mix throughout the area um, stick around to the end like i said we're going to talk more about real estate in terms of the pricing here but i just wanted to show you a little bit of a typical block Today, I wanted to show you a really cool real estate spot that I love to check out every time I'm here. This is Warren Place Townhouses, and you'll see it's spanning between two regular New York City roads or streets, and it has its own private garden right down the middle. And there's little, little townhouses. On the end, there's four, two on each side that face the street, and then in the middle, you have this kind of private courtyard muse little townhouses now these are very rare to come up but when they do they go very quickly because of the privacy the secluded area you have it's right on the opposite side of a beautiful old church building 
uh, that's been, I believe this has been converted into condos. And um, it's just such a cool, special little place. You can see some of these, um, some of the details here on these brick townhouses. Um, just really interesting and very unique to the time. You don't see that very much in the city. What I love about Cobble Hill is you do have this historic district, but you have a really cool mix of the historic and modern buildings. And we're about to walk up on one right now. This is actually a commercial building. It's called Flavor Paper. But look at this, really cool windows, old brick, black. It's a reused, renovated building, but you have these modern windows on the historic black bricks. And then check this out. This is a wallpaper factory. Um, they're actually making, they make really cool prints. And you can see along the wall there, all their screens that they use to make the wallpaper. And these really long tables and machines are what actually prints the wallpaper. They do each color for different screen. And you can check it out where, you know, mirrored space right now. So I thought that was really cool to show you. But that's what's interesting about this area is the mix of the old and new. Really cool coffee shop next door is uh, Sumptown. This is an old firehouse. And above it is a really cool townhouse um, by a famous designer who does a lot of theater work. Um, Fortunately, this building is another modern building. It's under construction. It's like they're doing some facade renovation. But I can't show you that right now. I would have loved to though. But we're coming back up to Court Street, uh, right where um, Trader Joe's is. Got Bear Burger on the corner, like I, I mentioned before, Chipotle. Another really great wine store, um, CVS. Lots of really cool like bars and restaurants. Again, they're everywhere. That's what's really nice about this area. You've got the calm, quiet townhouses and apartments over there in the historic district. But then you come over here on Court Street and you've got everything you need. Um, one other thing I wanted to mention was we showed it in the Brooklyn Heights video, the old movie theater. That actually closed. I apologize for messing that up. But you do have Cobble Hill Cinemas down the road here on Court Street. Um, so you have some, you have another option there for movies. And that one's actually cooler because it's it's smaller, it's older, so you get a little bit more of a quaint vibe to your movie-going experience. We're just crossing the road here. We don't want to get run over. But here's the Trader Joe's behind us, Bear Burger, and um, here you can see Court Street, Brooklyn Heights to the north. So, let's continue on the tour. Okay, so one of the main thoroughfares on Cobble Hill is Court Street, which runs north to south, and that's parallel to Smith Street, which also runs north to south. Um, now, on those two streets, you're gonna find lots of options in terms of shops and restaurants. Um, as the neighborhood's been changing over the last five to 10 years, you're seeing a lot of high-end stores coming in, um, and the restaurants are sort of always changing out. One of my favorite spots is Brucey, used to be over there, a great Italian food. It is now uh, an Indian restaurant still really nice and it's sort of one of those like sunken buildings so it's really cozy when you walk in you've also got places like new burger um, there's ethiopian food um, coffee places everywhere uh, a lot of good thai places you've got gang um, and joya down the street here on, on fourth um indian table is the name of the restaurant i was telling you about um of course lots of wine stores um, you know, doctor's offices, everything you really need on Cord and Smith. Um, and especially, like I said, a lot of high-end um, retail spaces are going in. Um, one of my favorite spots is just up here. It's a pizza place. You guys know I like pizza. Uh, Layla Jones, very different type of pizza. It's thicker and uh, something a little different. So let's keep going and show you a little bit more. So talking about real estate prices here in Cobble Hill, over the last 12 months, uh, we've seen an average, and this is across all property types, um, whether it be ownership type or you know condo co-op or townhouse or one bedroom to, to townhouse. Um, the average price here has been $2.7 million. Now, if we break that down, the average per square foot, again, across all property types is around um, just under 1,400 a square foot. It's actually 1,368. And if we're looking at one bedrooms, we're right around mid 750s, mid 700s. Um, two bedrooms, we're looking at 1.75 million. Three bedrooms, 2.8 million. 
and four bedrooms and above, we're at 4.2 million. Now, if we break it down by typology, um, condo prices have been about $1,550 per square foot. Co-ops, like I said in the past, is usually a little less expensive, $1,230 per square foot. And townhouses have been $1,339 per square foot. And again, that's in the past 12 months of filming this. So if we look at the average by type, excluding size, uh, co-ops are about 1.25 million, condos are about 2.275 million, condops, which is something a little bit different, we can talk about that later, those are around a million dollars, and townhouses, the big one, um, 4.76 million in the last 12 months. So definitely a big gradation in size and price point, um, but very, very nice neighborhood, amazing access to the city. You've got, um, down here on Smith, you've got a couple different trains. You've got the uh, F train. Now the G train doesn't really go into the city, but it is there as an option for you. And from the F, you can switch at the next stop and get on the AC uh, to get you on an express train. Um, now I wanted to stop over here because there's a really cool townhouse that some of my friends at PAX Architecture renovated. This is right here on Warren Street. It's this one here, 293 very skinny property and i'm going to go ahead and show you some pictures uh in the b-roll of how it came out but this would have been a very typical sort of modest sized home in the late 1800s early 1900s um they had to go through and do a lot of renovations in terms of like leveling off the floors to get those nice and flat um it's actually been sold off so it's not the current owner that did the renovations but the previous owner and um, by the way, I had nothing to do with the sale. I just know those guys really well and they're really, really good at what they do. So if you're interested in doing a renovation in one of these areas, get in touch with us. I'd love to introduce you to them. Um, but what they did was, like I said, they, they leveled off the floors, get everything perfect. So it is new inside, but you have that beautiful exterior um, that has that historic look to it. And we're just coming up here on Smith Street um, this is actually one of my favorite buildings that's more modern on the corner of Smith and Warren. Doing a lot of stuff on Warren today. Uh, but check this out, it's really modern looking. Got this beautiful red, creamy, orangey brick. Um, and then these gray sort of panels above, very modern on the corner. Deep, deep um, window penetrations. So it, it gives it a really nice look. And then you have this kind of like ribbon window behind on the top. So sort of mixing the historic brick that you saw up there with the modern elements. So I'm cheating a little bit. We're actually on the Smith Street side of Borum Hill, where Borum Hill is. But I wanted to show you one of my favorite places. It started out as a food truck in Manhattan. Just remember, it was when I first remember it. But Van Loo and ice cream, amazing flavors, delicious food. And they have um, vegan. I think they use cashew milk. Um, they opened up right over here, but on the other side, that's Cobble Hill, so I'm not, I'm not cheating too much. Um, but I'm down here in Smith Street to show you some of the other stuff. Um, lots of good shops and restaurants. You've got um, some mix of like, like I said, high-end stores that are, some of them are more commercial, like Lululemon. But then you've got um, one-off stores that are like, um, you know, fancy glasses stores, um, clothing stores all different types of food. Um, one of my favorites in terms of food is Lou Luke. Cafe Lou Luke is a French restaurant down the street. Uh, you've also got bars of back, it's also French. Um, you've got tacos, like Fat Daddy tacos. Um, there's a really famous butcher shop over here, um, Paisano's. And uh, one of my other favorite restaurants is a vegan place, it's right up the road at the top towards Atlantic. I'll show you, I'll show you all this stuff in the B-roll. Um, just standing in front of our vacant store right now. But Bergen is where you can grab the train, the F or the G to get you into the city. Um, Bergen itself has lots of, um, you can see all these city bikes that you can get to and from around the neighborhood to get on the train. And Bergen itself is a nice stretch between Cobble, uh, between Court Street and uh, Smith. Um, but yeah, in general, you're going to find all different kinds of shops and restaurants and um, different variety price points. You've got Dumbo uh, Market down there that has groceries and stuff. You've also got the Trader Joe's 
at the top by Atlantic and Court. Um, over there, you've also got things like Chipotle and Bear Burger. So all different mixes of things, like I said, one-offs and sort of more commercial types. Um, my One of my favorites that I mentioned in the Brooklyn Heights video as well is Hanko's. They've got another location down here. You can get some Vietnamese bubble teas and sandwiches. Um, like here's an example of Brooklyn. We've got this one called the Flea. We've got some sort of uh, clothing shops and so on. Just everything you need right here in Cobble Hill, right at your fingertips. And you're really only like 20 minutes to the city, depending on how far north or south you're going. So that's gonna do it for us here in Cobble Hill, Brooklyn. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Like I said, if you're moving in seven days or seven months, give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email so we can help you make that easy stress-free move to the New York City area. And if you're looking to find out more about the outer boroughs, check out my next video. It's right over here. See you soon.